gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. Yeah. to put me in that mood like oh my gosh I just freaking love listening to Brent Fias I think that's how you pronounce his name yeah um I just I love his music so much a lot of the times in the morning when I'm getting ready I like to listen to gospel music and if I'm not listening to gospel music I like to listen to something that's like R&B vibes that's not too hard especially because like when I'm at the gym like um that's when i will listen to something that gets me hype and stuff um but even then it's like sometimes you just don't want to be like all hyped up and stuff and you just need a chill r b vibe and brent fires like he just he just does it for me like every single time like every time good morning y'all it is monday i'm about to go to the gym and I'm about to get myself ready for the day. Today is legs, actually glutes, quads, and calves today. Send me your love to the max, me no lie. But things them my talk, me no buy. Girl, you make me feel butterfly. Every night and day, me love always multiply. You are the ways that make a bad man fly. Me a tick blue for you, verify. Girl, come in and me at occupy. Make Rasta boy to see I'm satisfied now. Intoxicating me. Everything a fresh and clean. Chocolate girl with the spotless skin. You make all the man them hit the must be now. Intoxicating me. Everything a fresh and clean Chocolate girl with a spotless skin You make all the man them hit the must be love Me love you, me love you Me love you, me love you, me love you, me love you No one girl above you No girl can take the place you have in my life Give me the, give me the, give me the, give me your time Girl, me a say me not wasting your time Me love you like Christians love in their touch Let Y'all, I'm having a very productive Productive, very productive workout I did glutes, quads, and oh, I did glutes, quads, and calves, and it was a very, very, very good workout. Um, it's very cloudy today. I don't know what the vibes of that is for. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good start to your week, and honestly, I hope that today goes by fast for me yeah today's probably gonna be like a very chill day i'm not gonna be doing too much i'm just working and yeah 
but I wanted to come back and say good morning. <sighs> I'm going to go home and make myself a protein shake. And then I'm going to um, do some work. And I'm going to watch my show and edit a little bit. Um, yeah. Normally I'll get a five count. Oh wow, they gave me six nuggets. But normally I'll get a five count and a medium fry. And sometimes when I'm doing good, I'll just get a cookie because their cookies are so good. Like they're top tier. Chick-fil-A's cookies are top tier. If you want a good, is this focus on me? If you want a good chocolate chip cookie that is like thick, they have really... <laughs> They have really thick um, chocolate chip cookies. They're so good. But it's so freaking cloudy outside. And it's like misty. Mm -mm. I cannot stand days like this. It just makes me so tired. Honestly. Um, I don't have any Valentine's Day plans this um week at all would be nice but nope i don't do any of you guys have any fun like valentine's day plans hmm. i'm sure by the time you see this video it will be um sunday so valentine's day would have passed but if you did anything nice for valentine's day comment down below because i love hearing love stories and like valentine's day valentine's day stories it's beautiful Mm -mm. you cannot have none baby no you cannot have none but um I don't know I may go out this afternoon um to get dinner I'm not sure if I'm gonna go out to get dinner or not but um I may go out later I don't know that's to be determined this weather is so ugly I don't feel like doing anything honestly I just feel like sleeping Mm. Chick-fil-A has some really good grilled chicken nuggets and I was debating getting their grilled chicken nuggets but I wanted something that was like crispy but if you've never tried their chick um if you've never tried their grilled chicken nuggets definitely try them it's so good like it truly is so good Look at him. <laughs> he's just like, he's just waiting. He's just, he wants attention right now. Come on, focus. So since it's a Monday, I go into the office Tuesday through Thursday. And to be honest, I like to cook a, I like to have home cooked meals throughout the week. So then I'll have like leftovers to take with me to work the next day. Okay, hold on, okay, hold on, baby. So, um, excuse me, I'm not sure what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight if I go out to eat or not. Don't know. I am gonna catch up with you guys later this afternoon, so yeah, just wanted to say hi, and I hope you guys are having a beautiful start of your week. I hope you're having a beautiful Monday. My dog is just like craving attention right now. So, um, I have to attend to my son. 
my baby okay okay hold on but yeah um i love you guys and i hope you guys are having a great day and a great start of your week so i will talk to you guys soon the vlog to youtube right now it's still i don't know how much longer it has until it's uploaded but i'm doing that um i just well i was watching soft white underbelly on youtube if you have never seen the channel soft white underbelly on youtube like you absolutely have to Mark is an amazing guy who interviews so many different people like I mean all walks of life type of people like you have to watch his channel it's so 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 good um so I'm looking at that and I'm just waiting for my video to upload um I just picked out my work outfit and my gym outfit once like I get to Tuesday through Thursday like it's just the week just goes by so slow i feel like <laughs> i'm just hoping that my week goes by fast to be honest um yeah i don't have any valentine's day plans i don't know if there's like any a valentine's day event going on or anything um i don't know my arm is like hurting from holding this camera because my camera is heavy um so Tonight for dinner, I'm having, I'm making baked chicken. Um, my camera's dying. Every time my camera's dying. I'm making baked chicken. I'm not sure what I'm making with it, what type of vegetable or side dish I'm making with it. But I like to make something where I know I can bring, um, you know, food with me to work. But I don't know if I'm going to have enough chicken to bring with me to work. I don't know. But yeah, um... Today has been pretty productive. Work was pretty chill. Um, I finished editing. I uploaded this video to my phone. I said to my phone, oh my gosh, I'm uploading this video to um, YouTube. I was looking at my phone when I said that. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the start of a new vlog. I came to the conclusion that you know I work a full-time job so it's going to be kind of hard to do consistent uploading with two videos a week but I want to be consistent so there's no excuse so I'm going to upload a new either weekend vlog or weekly vlog either weekend vlog or weekly vlog um or like day in the life type of vlog um, every Sunday. So I'm uploading this video today on a Monday because I didn't get to upload it yesterday on Sunday. But um, I will have this weekly vlog that I am filming right now. I'm gonna have that posted on this Sunday coming up. But um, yeah, so um, every Sunday new um, vlog. So make sure you stay tuned. Um, yeah i don't know i'm just <sighs> tomorrow is going to be tuesday through thursday is cardio days so um i picked out my outfit i'm wearing blue um yeah i'm wearing blue <sighs> tomorrow at the gym i feel like you know when it comes to working out it's kind of hard to fit your schedule it's kind of hard to feel fit the gym schedule up it's kind of hard to fit your gym routine into your schedule when you work full-time in your uh, my battery not my battery but my card on my camera got full my storage on my camera got full but um as i was saying there are so many hours in a day i feel like you just have to find even if it's 30 minutes like for me my job gives us a um, gym hour a fitness hour so um i normally get off at 4 p.m but with my fitness hour, since we go in three days out of the week, I use that hour. So instead of taking it, um, so I'll just take that fitness hour at the end of my day. So instead of getting off at four, 
I will get off at 3 and I'll go to the gym downstairs and I'll get in 30 minutes to about 45 minutes of cardio. So um, cardio for me consists of either the um, treadmill, walking, um, walking, running, or um, the Stairmaster. So I just, you know, I like to keep my body going. And I feel like me getting the cardio in, like, it feels so much better for me. And I see a difference already. And I, last week, I went to the gym six days. Six days. Um, I didn't go on Thursday because I was so busy at work. But um, now it's just like, it feels amazing. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep myself accountable and motivated to go to the gym. So I'm also going to motivate you guys. And, um, yeah, I mean, we are besties. And, you know, I'm going to be your girl to always make sure that you stay on track and you stick to your routine. I feel like a lot of times when it comes to life, I feel like a lot of times when it comes to life, things come up and it's just like you get distracted from your routine but it's okay you just gotta work around it and get back to it eventually so yeah um I'm just about to read this book and light my candle and chill for a little bit I'm not doing much for the rest of the day so yeah it's just gonna be chill vibes tomorrow's gonna be the start of a long week and I bet you it's gonna be busy at work tomorrow <sighs> but it's okay yeah so um i will check in with you loves in a little bit i'm gonna tell you this one time what i want you to be mine can i come see you now can i lay with you good morning y'all why was i in the middle of getting ready and as you can see in the clip i woke up at um 3 a.m because during the week I gotta wake up really early um, to get my puppies um, taken care of in the morning, cook breakfast for my family, pack our lunches and snacks and everything, right? Why in the world was I literally about to get dressed and then pick the camera up to talk to you guys? And then I get notified that we don't have to go in the office because of the weather. Mm. Y'all, it is literally, um, it is literally, what time is it? It is 5 a.m. And, um, I am, like, so happy when I tell you, like, the Lord, <laughs> the Lord just really, 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 just, oh my gosh. A lot of the times, like, um, because I'm be honest with you, I did not feel like driving to go to work because for one, 95 traffic is some butt. Like 95 traffic sucks. 95 traffic sucks. When it's any type of weather outside, people act like they don't know how to drive. Cannot stand it, okay? I know I look a little crazy right now, so just bear with me. But um yeah, people don't know how to drive, so I'm just so happy I do not have to get on that road today. Um, I am going to start work at like regular time and stuff. I am going to go to the gym sometime this morning. Uh, yeah. I'm just so happy. And you know, I was listening to gospel music. Let me tell you something. When I don't feel like doing something or like I feel eh or like oh, I just don't want to go to work. You know, you really have to think like I'm saying this because like I use this myself, like I do this myself, like a lot of the times like to get me in a good spirit and to get me in a good start of my week to tackle the entire week and to tackle the day. I always make sure that the night before, because I've done this where like um, I would like not have my clothes picked out the day before and then the day of I'm literally rushing I'm rushing so much and I'm like oh my gosh like I just the worst thing ever is to be rushing in in a bad mood because you know your hair is not um on your side that morning you know you have a bad hair day um whether you put on makeup to go to work your makeup didn't come out the way you wanted to or you just could not figure out what to wear so to make sure that that doesn't happen 
Um, the night before, I always, always, always pick out my outfit and my shoes the um, the night before. And I always um, pick out my gym outfit the night before because, like I said, I go to um, the gym at my job during the week when I go into the office. Um, I found that, you know, since... I found that, you know, since... I can't go to my I mean I can go to my gym in the evening time but I just don't want to put that stress on me because I just feel like the gym is just too packed so I just rather go downstairs um, at my job and go to that gym but another way to just like have a good start of your day is to turn on music that makes you happy turn on music that makes you feel joy joyful um refreshed and just amazing so for me i turn on if i'm not listening to r&b chill vibe type of music um i'm gonna listen to some gospel and a lot of the times especially on the days that i'm going into the office and i really just don't feel like going i always listen to gospel music because one thing god is going to do he is going to get you through anything you're going through he's going to make sure that you have a fresh start of your day. Like, you know, he's going to put that one song on that he knows that you need to hear. He's going to make sure that is in play and shuffle for you. Like um, every single morning I have the Bible app on my phone. So every single morning I look at a verse that comes on my phone on my lock screen. I'll just unlock my screen. And I showed you in the beginning of the clip, it shows a Bible verse. And it's just like, it's just so, it's so refreshing. It's just a good way to start your day. And, um, yeah, so I just wanted to just give that type of, you know, good morning advice to you. I'm just happy because let me tell y'all something. Next Monday is a federal holiday. So you know what that means? Moi, me, I'm not going to work on Monday. Well, I'm not going to work on Monday anyways, but I'm not going to have to work on Monday, period. And I'm so happy about that. And you want to know what else? I have every other Friday off. And this Friday, I have off. So I have a four-day weekend, and I'm so happy. Like, I'm so happy. Um, for me, I have payday Fridays off. If you are deciding which Friday or Monday you want to have off, have the payday Friday or Monday off. Like if you get paid on a Friday and you want to have a Monday off, get make sure that you have that Monday off, um, which comes after the payday Friday. Because I mean, who wants to have a Monday off or a Friday off and you are not getting paid that week? So um, yeah, it's payday Friday. And I'm debating if I'm going to see my best friend in Hampton this weekend. That's still to be determined. Not sure. Um, today I got told about this event that is going on this evening. So I'm trying to see if my homegirl is going to be able to go with me. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, mm, this is a long intro. I forgot to tell y'all. So, um, in my area, you know, my best friend, um, I have two best friends one of my best friends she lives in hampton and my other best friend she lives in my area um so i'm like ugh, i really want to have like i really want to have like friends that are like you know i want to meet more girlfriends in my area in the dmv area so guess what i did i downloaded bumble bff yeah not bumble dating not bumble dating bumble bff um yeah so um i am going to keep you guys updated on my journey with that hopefully i'll meet me a you know good friend a new bff like i'm so excited i love meeting girls i love i'm a, such a girl's girl like i love girls like girls are just amazing i just love everything about women you know so um, I'm just so excited. Like I'm excited to meet new um, friends, you know, meet new girlfriends. And the cool part about Bumble BFF that I, cause I downloaded it yesterday. The cool part about it is that there's um, people who will um, create like groups on there. So let me see, let me see if I can show y'all. There's like this plans option. So plans, oh, 
right here and people will literally create i don't know if it's showing backwards or if it's showing the way it should people will literally create groups and you can literally like click on them and it's um it's groups based on your area and stuff like that plans near you and so i think that's so cool so of course i had to join some of them because i why not and of course i'm gonna bring you guys along with me so then if i do go to any of these plans oh, it's not focusing why are you trying to play me right now this morning like no okay of course if i go on any of these plans you know i'm gonna bring you guys with you with me and I'm gonna update you you know you know what I'm saying so um I just thought that was really cool and interesting I you know I'm like how can I meet new friends I don't go out like that I, I'm trying to start going out more and stuff and especially since I'm doing YouTube I want to have fun exciting content for you guys you know I'm a very much homebody girl but there's nothing wrong with that you know and to be honest, since I have a little bit of time before I have to start work, since it's 5.09 and I don't have to start work until 6.30, I'm about to um, edit the clips that I have now and then I'm going to definitely take some time out to read. A lot of people, whenever I tell them like, oh, I love to read, um, you know, I read on my Kindle or I read the actual book that the um, hard copy books that I have, They, a lot of people say, Oh, I like to read too, but I never have the time to. Let me tell you something. When it comes to making time for God and making time for, you know, reading or anything that you want to do, instead of saying, how can I make time to do this? One thing I want to say, and this is what I had to learn myself, okay? Instead of saying, how can I make time to do this? Look at it as what time in the day do I have downtime where I can fit this in my schedule one thing but one thing I will say is when it comes to you know praying and talking to God like I learned oh my god let me just like talk to you guys because like I said last year in the year last year was like one of the most was one of the hardest years that I've had especially when it comes to like the dating world and stuff like that and like um just life in general like it was just so much going on in my life and one thing I can say is getting closer to God me getting baptized me finding my home church that I got baptized at and feeling like that was a part of me like so I have gone to a few churches growing up but and I and I never got baptized at any of them but I knew that getting baptized meant a lot to my mom, my dad, my family, and to me. And so um, I always said I wanted to get baptized at a church that I felt like was for me. The church that I go to, when I tell you as soon as you get out of the car, you feel welcomed. You feel like you're just ready to listen to the word. You feel like... I'm ready to listen to this good music. I'm ready to listen to these beautiful voices. I'm ready to listen to this beautiful word from both of the pastors. Oh my goodness. As soon as you get out of the car, you see people dancing in the parking lot just greeting you. It's a DJ in the parking lot just greeting you. Like everyone is just so happy and warm and welcoming. As soon as you walk through the door, there's people waiting for you. There's people waiting to tell you good morning. God bless you. How are you? Just make you feel so good. Then you go inside of the church and it just is so beautiful. Like when I tell you my pastors, two pastors, both of my pastors, like, you know how like when you would go to a church and you would feel like, oh my gosh, like I'm just so bored. Like, can the pastor just get to it? Can they get to the point? Or like when the pastor just preaches for way too long and you're hungry and you're tired and you're ready to go. That is not how my pastors are like. And I say pastors because um, they're both married and they both preach. Sometimes they preach together or sometimes they'll preach individually. Um, and the guests that they have to preach as well are always amazing. But like, I love my church so much and I felt like I was going through so much and I was like, God, why? But then I'm thinking to myself, why not me to go through this? I feel like God puts us through things that he knows we can handle and he would never put us through anything he doesn't think we can't handle. And it's like, 
the greatest story ever told is yours. So you never know what you're going through and how that can help someone else. Or I always look at nothing should be a regret. Nothing should be an embarrassment. Everything is a learning lesson. And you just you just never know. That's why I was saying yesterday, if you have not seen Soft White Underbelly, that is such an amazing YouTube channel. Mark, he interviews prostitutes, um, pimps, strippers, um, all walks of life. He interviews people who are addicts, homeless people. He interviews college students. He interviews... Um, police offer like he interviews every single type of person that you could literally think of he has interviewed and if you listen to their stories you will literally be like oh my goodness and I try so hard not to compare my life to others and I try not to think dang what you know the problems I thought I had were bad but when you listen to their problems it's just it's really bad but then you have to think you know Never compare your life and your problems to others because your problems are very valid. The way you feel is very valid. And it's just very humbling to listen to other people's stories because like, that's why when it comes to homeless people or people who are addicts of any type, I never judge people because for one, you never want to be judged. God doesn't judge you. And I just feel like you never know how this person got to where they are. Like you never know what their childhood was like you never know what type of life altering event that put them on the path that they're on and a lot of times they don't want to be there they want better for themselves but it's sometimes hard and so i feel like you know what i'm trying to get at is like when it comes to what things that you're struggling with and everything like that don't only talk to god because you need something from him Talk to God every single day. You're trying to figure out how do I fit reading the Bible? How do I fit um, going to church? How do I fit things in your schedule? If you want something, you're going to make it happen. People make time to go to the gym. And the amount of time that you spend at the gym, you could be spending reading the Bible. You could be spending reading your book. You could be spending doing things that you want to do. So um, what I'm trying to get at is that you have 24 hours in a day. And for me, when I wake up, I do not get on social media as soon as I wake up. I wake up and I read that verse that is on my Bible app. I read verses after verses after verses, something to uplift me, something to guide my mind and to get my mind going. I don't have time to be consumed with social media in the morning. Um, and I'm not saying that's how you have to do it because you can do it however you want to. All I'm trying to say is that you have so many hours in your day and if you want to do something and you're trying to figure out how to make time for it, look on your phone, look in your settings and look up how much screen time you spend. Okay, you will be surprised of how much screen time you spend on your phone, scrolling through TikTok, scrolling through Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, any type of social media. Look at how much time you spend doing that. And that's your answer right there. A lot of times for me, like I try to replace looking at shows and TV shows and movies and things like that with reading a book. I used to always feel like, dang, like, when will I have time to read? When will I have time to dedicate to talk to God? Like, just talk to God. He's always there listening. Just talk to him. He'll listen and he'll always answer. And sometimes he's not going to answer your prayers to when you want it to happen. But one thing he's going to do is he's going to make it happen. Okay, a lot of times it's not on your pace, but it's on God's pace and he's going to make it happen for you. So, um, I don't know how I got to this, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just so happy that I do not have to go into the office today. I'm so happy about that. Oh my God. I also wanted to say, don't feel bad about not doing anything. And what I mean by that is weekends. A lot of the times, like, you know, for me, I go into the office during the week. So that has really just made me like, oh, my God, on the weekends, I just don't want to do anything. I just want to relax. When you come home from a long day of work, I just want to relax. You know, I just want to put my show on. I want to do something that makes me happy. What makes me find peace? Don't feel bad for doing that. You know, it's always OK to treat yourself to something that makes you happy, especially after a long week of work. 
do what makes you happy and don't feel bad about it. If that means you're just sitting in the bed eating popcorn and watching a movie or eating ice cream and watching a movie or eating a cookie or a brownie or a cake and watching a movie, do that, okay? Don't feel bad about doing something that makes you happy, okay? Um, because at the end of the day, it's your life to live and, you know, I just want you guys to know that you don't always have to be go, 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 go. I feel like nowadays they make it seem like, oh my gosh, like you have to have this side hustle, that side hustle, this, 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 and this going on. No, you don't. If you are content with your life and you are content with, you know, just going to work and coming home and just relaxing, you can do that. You don't have to go to work, think about your side hustle, think about making extra money, this and that. Although I know it's hard in this economy because it's just not cheap. It's so expensive. Everything is just, it's like you're living paycheck to paycheck to paycheck. You are trying to save up, but the bills just keep stacking and stacking and stacking. I understand. Do what's best for you, but never forget to do what makes you happy too. So if you're working multiple jobs or you know, you're working long shifts and stuff like that, Find time to just, whether that's coming home at the end of the day and decompressing, putting a face mask on, watching a nice movie, do what makes you happy. Let me know what type of videos you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see um, certain type of makeup videos? Um, let me know because I truly want to put out content that you guys want to see. Um, I want to do more vlog style videos because I feel like that's more personable. That's a way for you guys to really get to know me. Um, yeah. So I'm excited for this new journey. And I'm really serious about being consistent with YouTube and things like that. Um, yeah. I would love to give like, you know, girl advice, dating advice, <laughs> things like that. Like, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment down below if you like the vlogs if you want to see new things let me know um yeah and if you enjoy my videos please join the family and subscribe <laughs> um like the video but um yeah i just feel like you know doing makeup tutorials and stuff is cool but i feel like for vlogs it's more like personable like you guys can really get to know me and I mean although tutorials are really cool to do if you guys want to see more of those let me know um but yeah I will do like you know separate like get ready with me makeup type of videos like that I will do those um I may do one this weekend maybe um I think I'm gonna do a get ready if I end up going out today I think I am going to do like a get ready with me um, video telling you guys like my favorite products that I've been using so far and makeup products. Um, so yeah, probably incorporate that in this video. Hopefully this week will be an eventful week. Hopefully, um, you know, it'll be pretty eventful. So yeah, I'm trying to get into like editing videos and making them more like, you know, nice um photogenic um professional type of vibes i'm trying so just bear with me i'm really trying um i'm not that too tech savvy so i'm, I'm trying my best okay um yeah i don't know i don't want to keep rambling but i hope you guys are having an amazing week so far when you guys see this it will be on a sunday um I just hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope that, you know, you make it to work safely. I hope that you come back home safely. I hope you have a beautiful day. If it's raining in your area on a Tuesday, I hope that through the rain and through the clouds, you just see a ray of sunshine. You know, your smile is a ray of sunshine and you're beautiful. So um, I hope you beautiful people have a great day today. Um, and I will check in with you guys later oh oh my god i meant to tell you before i i um go those two candles that i got oh my god let me tell you these two so good i lit this one yesterday and i think i got footage of this one it made my room smell so good like the smell just lingered in my room like even when I um is this focused 
even when I blew the candle out, the smell just lingered. Like it stayed in my room for a while. And I was like, oh my God, like it smelled so warm and like spring and like, I don't know how to explain it. Like it smelled amazing, amazing. Bath and Body Works, okay? These two, these two, is it focusing? This one specifically, this one specifically, every time I wear, oh my gosh, why is my camera trying to play me right now and I'm trying to put y'all on? Every time I wear this one, I get so many comments on how good I smell. So many. This one too. Y'all, do you know how many comments I got yesterday wearing this? I got so many comments at the gym that I smell good. And you know sometimes when you're so used to your own scent and like you don't realize that you still have like the smell on you. I did not. This is from Trader Joe's. This is from Trader Joe's. Get you one of these. I'm trying to see does it have the price on it. I don't remember. This is so good. And it's such a thick consistency. And I like that it's such a thick consistency because this is actually like a coconut body butter. It literally keeps your skin moisturized. For me, so I have a long lasting moisturization. I like to pair it with, I like to pair it with this. So this is a little hack. Oh, this is a little hack. I'm gonna show, put you onto a little hack. So I like to put this on. You know like these roll on perfume, like, let me see if it'll focus. You know these roll on perfumes that is like this? So this is a little hack, I'm gonna put y'all on. Okay, this smells so good, oh my goodness. I got this from the mall, uh, okay. So, you know, like in the mall, they have like the little like mini stations and stuff where people stand at. I got one of these oils from there. I got two of them and it smells so good. So what I will do, and these last so long. I've had this for like since last year. I, what I would do is I would put this on my hand and I'll just roll it on my hand. And then, and then I'll put some of this on top of it, right? And... I'll mix it like this. Smell. I didn't actually do it, but I'll mix like this. And like when you smell, it smells so good. And then I'll just like put it on my arms and my legs. And like I'll literally smell so good all day. Like when I say I always get so many compliments from doing that. Like, yeah, I just want to put y'all on, you know. But um, these two. These two. Okay, from Bath and Body Works. They smell amazing. They smell amazing. A lot of people, like, when I say I get compliments every time I wear this, I do. It's a morning time, so I look a mess right now, so just bear with me. But, yeah, I do. I get a lot of compliments. And I appreciate I'm just going to chill for a little bit um, and edit a little bit. And then I'm going to go to the gym. Today, it's so rare, like it's so rare for me to go into the, um, to go to the gym on a Tuesday. Um, so rare because before we went in the office three days out of the week, my dedicated day to go in the office was a Tuesday. So it's just so rare. Today, I'm going to do back and biceps today. I'm going to do back, biceps, and I'm going to do cardio today. So I'm going to do that. And then on Wednesday and Thursday, I'm just going to do cardio. I think Wednesday, I'm going to do the Stairmaster. And Thursday, I'm just going to do the treadmill. Friday, I'm going to do um, glutes and hamstrings. Saturday, I'm going to do shoulders, chest, and triceps. And then Sunday, I'm just going to do um, cardio. I just got back from the gym. Is this light like hella bright? Okay. So I just got back from the gym. Um, I honestly am about to eat some yogurt and some granola on top that I just had in a baggie that I never used. So um, this right here, let me focus you. This Chobani vanilla yogurt, this is quite literally like 
the best plain vanilla yogurt I have tasted. Like I've tasted like a good amount of different yogurts, especially like plain yogurt. But like this one is just, it's so freaking good. And my dog is just, <laughs> no, you cannot have some. My dog is literally looking at me like, um, can I have some? No, baby, this is for me. So I normally would make this and put some fruit in it, like blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, um, even mangoes, um, peaches. You can put like any type of fruit inside of your yogurt. That's normally what I would do, but, um, and honestly, this is just like a pre little snack. It's only 1023 and I don't want to have, um, lunch until around like 1230. So I literally just put some yogurt in my bowl and I'm just going to take the parfait. I, I said parfait. <laughs> I'm just going to take the granola. This granola, I was supposed to, I was supposed to bring myself, um, I was supposed to bring some yogurt and granola with me to work, which is why this is already in the bag, but um, we don't have to go into work today. So I'm not obviously bringing it with me. So um, yeah, I went to the gym and to be honest, let me tell you something. If you ever don't feel like going to the gym, but you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna force myself. Such, oh. Before I get to talking, let me show you the granola I use. The granola that I love to use is this one. This one is the Bare Naked Triple Berry Crunch. It is quite literally so good. It literally, it's just like a fruity, you know, granola type. It has toasted pumpkin seeds, sweet strawberries, bold blueberries, and cranberries. And I also got this one, which is the same brand, but it's um, cashew butter crunch and like cacho. I don't know what that means, um, but it has chocolate in it. So this one has chocolate, cashew butter, and toasted pumpkin seeds. And I got this one because I've truly been trying to like stop eating a whole bunch of like sweets such as like cookies, brownies, and all that type of stuff. So whenever I'm craving chocolate, I will just you know get some of this yogurt and then i'll just put the granola that has chocolate in it and it's just like it's so good i also get these protein bars they're so good uh let's see if it's gonna focus so good so good and whenever i just want something with chocolate in it i get this one Ooh. it's just so good but um, what I was saying is that whenever you are like, Ugh, I don't really want to go to the gym, like I just don't feel like it, go to the gym for 30 minutes. Give yourself 30 minutes. Actually, don't even do that. Give yourself 15 to 30 minutes. And if you, after 15 to 30 minutes and you're like, nah, I'm still not feeling it, then just go home and just relax. But um, that's what I did today. I gave myself 30 minutes. I was supposed to do, well, I did back today, but it's like raining and it's been so ugly these past like few days. And I'm like, uh, I just truly don't feel like working out. I'm gonna give myself like 30 minutes and um, if I'm not feeling it, then I'll just leave. I started working out and I felt amazing. So, and I had a really good back workout. And I feel like a lot of times, the days that you just truly don't feel like working out, those are the days that you have like the best workout. It's it's really weird. I don't know. But um, it's a lot of granola. I just realized that. But um, yeah. And also I wanted to say there's nothing wrong with giving yourself a week off from the gym. Sometimes I feel like you get a burnout and you get like stagnant. So there's really nothing wrong with giving yourself, oh my God, the sun's coming out. It's like amazing. Oh my gosh, the sun is coming out. And now it's like going back in, whatever. But um. There's nothing wrong with giving yourself a day or two days or a few days off from the gym because sometimes you can get a burnout and there's also nothing wrong with switching up your gym routine. You know, instead of doing, you know, back on a Monday like you've always been doing, why not do it on a Wednesday? Do shoulders on a Monday, do legs on a Monday, like switch it up. There's nothing wrong with that and I think that also makes your gym routine a little bit more fun and something to look forward to. For example, me going into the office, I had to switch around my entire workout schedule. So um, 
you know, now I can fit in cardio those three days out of the week that I go into the office. And now it's like, you know, I look forward to going to the gym because I'm not at my gym every single day of the week because I'm having to go to the gym at my job. And it's like I give myself a break and I like switched up my routine. So, yeah, don't be afraid to take a week off or just take a couple days off or even one day. Do not beat yourself up about it. Your gains is still going to be gaining and it's still going to be there when you go to the gym. And I feel like when you take a day or two days or a few days or even a week off and you go back to the gym, you feel stronger than ever. Like you give your body time to recover and rest. And like when you go back, you feel so strong. So just I'm just giving you a little tip, okay? Just give me a little tip. So now look at how much granola I have in here. So now I'm just about to eat this. Mm. So good. I'm just about to eat this. Mm. Do a little bit of work. I'm actually studying for this um, exam that I have for my job. But I'm going to study. And then I'm going to edit. And I'm going to eat this. I may... I was going to watch Suits. But... um. But to be honest, like I said earlier in the video, sometimes I would try to figure out when can I fit in reading, but I decided, you know what, the times that I want to look at a movie or a show, I'm going to read. So that's really how you get through these books and stuff like that by like dedicating set days or set hours in your day, whether it's 30 minutes, an hour, whatever, you know? So um, I'm going to wait until 1230 and then... Um, I'm gonna have lunch so this is what I did last night so last night I intended to make chicken make to make baked chicken wings with like broccoli or rice or whatever right I didn't end up doing that because we didn't have enough baked chicken for last night and for us to have for leftovers today so instead my mom made some really 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 good cheeseburgers and we had cheeseburgers and we had onion rings um, last night for dinner but since I had the chicken already thawing out, I was like, you know what? I'm going to bake the chicken and I'm going to make some white rice and we're just going to have that for lunch tomorrow. So that's what I did. I made baked chicken and I um, just made some regular white rice on the stove. And that's what I'm going to have for lunch. And if I'm still a little hungry and I'm not full yet, we did have some seafood for Super Bowl Sunday. So I'm about to crack some crab legs and I'm about to eat some of that and yeah so I'm about to just chill for a little bit and chill with my puppy he deserves a little snack so because he's just waiting oh so patiently so I also wanted to say I love making friends at the gym so for me I feel like the gym is like my community it's like you have your gym friends that you see every week you know, if not every day, a few days out of the week, they're like, it's like amazing. So it's always so, so nice to meet new people at the gym. For instance, today, there's this lady that I always speak to and I met her through another friend of mine that I met at the gym. So I always speak to her and I always say something to her every single time I see her. It's just, she's so sweet. Today, I was like telling, she was like, how was your leg workout yesterday on Monday? And I said it was really good, but, you know, I used to go to the gym. I don't know if you guys know this, but I used to go to the gym at 4 a.m. I used to go to the gym at 4 a.m. every single day. But um, now I switched up my schedule of the times that I go. I was telling her it was a really good workout. I did every single leg workout that I wanted to do except for two, which was squats and leg press. And she was like, really? You know what? And whenever you can't get to one machine, just find another alternative. And I was like, that's true. I was like, so what's an alternative for the squats if I can't get there? She showed me this one machine, not the hack squat, but it's another sh machine. It's like a front squat machine that I've never tried before. I've seen it all the time, but I'm like the type of person where I'm scared to try a machine by myself and no one's there to like, you know, tell me how to use it. And so it just made me so happy because I was like oh my gosh had I not met her and had I not like you know always speak to her and she had I not seen her yesterday and she asked me how my workout was today I wouldn't have known that I wouldn't have been able to test the machine out and everything and so all I'm saying is that don't be afraid to speak to other people and like make friends at the gym because 
you will see the same people at the gym almost every single day that you go especially if you go at the same time you will see these same people like when I was going at 4 a.m. I saw the same people but those same people are what motivates me to go to the gym every day because I'm like if they can wake up at 3 to go to the gym I can too and so it's like you they're your motivators and you're their motivators and it's like they notice you and you notice them so it's like it's always so nice to just say hi and it's always so nice to compliment someone, you know, like for instance, you know, there's this one guy that I, um, I was like, you know what, if I see him today, I'm going to say hi, I'm going to introduce myself to him. He's so nice. So I saw him in doing legs. He's so strong. Like he is so strong. And I was like, I was like, hi, you know, my name is Raquel. I always see you coming in the gym. You're so consistent. And I just wanted you to know that you're doing great. You're doing amazing. Like, you know your form is really good like I just saying something really nice because for one you never know what type of morning or day that person is having and you never know if they just how your compliment and how your words can brighten up their day or how that can make them smile because I feel like a lot of people when you go to the gym you never realize that other people are noticing you and watching you but not in a creepy way but like sometimes for instance if you're in between reps I mean if you're in between sets so say you just did one set and you're like, okay, I'm going to give myself a minute rest. Sometimes when you give yourself a minute rest, you see other people working out and you're like, dang, that person is strong. Dang. But that person could be feeling like, dang, I just feel like, you know, I'm just not feeling it today. My workout is not that good today. But you can go and compliment that person, tell them that they're doing amazing and that their weight is really good. Not weight, but their form and everything is really good and their the weight that they're at is really impressive. And you never know how that can really just make someone smile and how that can make their day um when i was doing legs on monday there was this lady and she was like she had three plates on like the leg press and like three plates that's pretty like heavy like even two plates is two 45 plates is heavy she had three plates and i'm like i'm like looking i'm like not looking but i'm like noticing her and i'm like wow like she's really killing it and i said to her when she was done with her set and she was in between her rest i was like I was like your weight that the weight that you're using is so impressive and like you know your form is amazing you're doing really good like you're really good at you know what you're doing I, I don't I don't remember how I worded it but it was somewhere along those lines and she was like she was like really you know that's nothing that's like that is lightweight to me and I was like oh my god 345 plates if that's nothing to her I want to see what a good day is for her because but she smiled and she was like, thank you so much for that compliment. And I was like, you're welcome. And it's like, you know, then you just made a new friend. And so every time you go in the gym and you see, you be like, hi. <laughs> so it's like, you never know what you could, you know, what you could do for someone else. Like, you know, what impact you can make on someone else. And always, always, always be receptive of tips and advice, especially when it comes to form or technique or like, improvement that you can do a lot of times when I'm working out with my friends at the gym I love working out with them because they show me like you know different types of workouts that you can do especially for upper body and they show me the perfect not the perfect form but the right form and the way to do it sometimes you feel like oh I'm doing it correctly but then they're like no you should do it like this or like that so be receptive of that and it's okay to um, take advice and things like that
Happy Wednesday, beautiful people, and happy Valentine's Day. So, um, today is Valentine's Day, and um, I have to go to work, unfortunately. <laughs> I hope you guys have a beautiful day today. I hope that your week is going so far so good. I hope it's going smooth for you. Um, honestly, you know, I know you guys are excited that you don't have, I know some of you don't have to go to work on Monday. It's President's Day. So, um, that's exciting. It's definitely exciting for me because when I tell you, like, I'm just so happy I don't have to go to work on Monday. I'm, like, ecstatic. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to be doing my makeup or anything. So, I mean, at least I could just have some red hair today i mean that's not too bad so um i need to get my jewelry and i'll be right back hopefully today goes by really fast um i truly am just not in the mood to be at work like i promise you i'm not <sighs> just i'm just not in the mood to be going to work today truly don't feel like it at all um hopefully today is not too busy because i just i'm just not feeling it <sighs> um, but let me not be in like a negative mood let me think positive but i mean when it comes to going to work and stuff i feel like every person like I just, you know, I listen to my gospel music. That my gospel music just be getting me in a better mood and stuff like that. It just gets me in like the mood to just take on the day. But I mean, it's just it's work. Like, who wants to go to work? Ah. Tomorrow is my last day of having to go in the office, and then there's Friday. I'm off Friday, so um, Friday. Hopefully, it'll be in the ventful day i'm definitely gonna do some type of um you know makeup get ready with me um i don't know what i'm doing this weekend i don't know friday or saturday yeah i just want to come on here and say happy valentine's day because i probably won't be able to check in with you guys until maybe lunchtime so I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you guys sometime today. Sometime today. I don't know. Um, it'll just be sometime today. So, yeah. Talk to you guys in a people and happy valentine's day i hope you guys had a beautiful day today i hope you guys um you know got lots of chocolates treats you know went on a beautiful date you were filled with love today i hope you just had a great valentine's day today i just got home not too long ago and um honestly i had like a very long day but today was just filled with love and just like Today, I just I just felt such like great vibes and energy and I just had a great day. I'm not gonna lie to you this morning. I woke up not in like the best mood, but one thing I can say is like just praying and listening to gospel music that will help you get out of whatever funk feeling that you're in. Like if you're in a funk and you're not feeling a you're not feeling it and you're just not having a good day or a good morning or a good start to your day or a good end to your day. All you have to do is pray to just pray, pray to the Lord, pray, you know, just talk to God and he will be the one to help you get through it. 
listen to some gospel music listen to any type of music that puts you in a good spirit listen to your favorite song that brings you back to a a memory or a place that you were in your life when you first listened to that song or just listen to anything that makes you feel good and that's what I did I listened to gospel music driving the entire way I had the gospel music blasted and I was just listening to it singing along you know how like when you sing in the shower and you just like sing to the top of your lungs and you just sound so good in the shower I feel like everybody sounds good in the shower when they sing but I truly was singing driving to work as if I was like singing in the shower I was just having like I was just having time with God and I was just talking to God about, you know, however I was feeling and I was just like praying. And I, not only was I praying for myself, but I was praying for my family. I was praying for friends. I was praying for my puppies. I was praying for everyone. Like I was praying for every single person I could think of. My dogs just want attention today, but it's Valentine's Day, so they're going to always get attention. But um, yeah, like, as you can see, probably in the beginning of this clip, um, I don't know if I'm gonna put the clip in the beginning or after this, but my coworkers are so sweet when I tell you, like, oh my gosh. Um, I got cookies, I got Rice Krispie, I got chocolates, I got a Coca-Cola, I got some red gum. Like, I, everybody is so sweet at my job. And like, when I say I'm just so thankful to be around such sweet, thoughtful people, like if I, if I, and I said this, I was like, if you did not have a Valentine's Day on Valentine, for one, if you don't have a Valentine, will you be my Valentine? I will be your Valentine. So you do have a Valentine. And for two, um, you know, I just like, I just felt so loved and appreciated at my job because, you know, my dogs are just like going ham in the background. But I just felt so loved and appreciated by my coworkers. And like today just really showed it. And I was like, oh my God, like I love every one of you guys. So yeah, it's just, today is a good day. Um, honestly, so I didn't go out last night. Um, it was just, just didn't go out last night <laughs> but um I am going out Friday and Saturday I may be going out but I do know that Friday I'm going out um and I'm definitely gonna do like a get ready with me let me tell you something okay one thing one thing my girls are going to do when I'm in the office so my home girl I will always see her so one thing it is like me and my homegirls we was talking at work and I was like I don't know how we got on the topic of makeup but she ended up showing she ended up no this is what happened so um I was looking at her makeup and I was and I was like it, it looked good like she was just putting some powder on and I'm like oh my gosh what is the powder that you're putting on it makes your makeup look so good because she has oily skin like me and it literally just airbrushed her makeup back to life and you want to know what it is I'm about to go and get it on Friday because you know um paydays on friday so it is the neutrogena shine control um yeah baby i'm going to get this mm -hmm. yeah i'm going to get this and i'm also thinking about getting the fenty beauty um skin tint only because um i think i got the skin tint but i got it in the wrong shade so i think i need to get the correct shade and i'm also going to try the elf grip primer um primer grip grip primer elf one i think uh, like this is not i don't think this is a new product but i want to try it i see it trending all the time on tiktok and last but not least i think i'm going to try the nars soft matte concealer yeah and i'm also th <laughs> yeah. okay i'm also thinking like the neutrogena and the ease drop is not expensive um let's see the Fenty Beauty one that one's a little you know it's $36 and the NARS one is $32 but it, there's nothing wrong with treating yourself okay nothing wrong with that um plus it's payday okay but um I think I'm also going to get a wig a new wig I'm not sure what kind um not completely sure but I definitely will um show you guys whichever one I decide to get so yeah I hope you beautiful people are having a great day and happy Valentine's Day. Like I said, if you don't have a Valentine and unfortunately this video is going to be posted on Sunday. So you won't see this. You won't see me saying this to you until Sunday. But regardless, if you don't have a Valentine, will you be my Valentine? <laughs> now you have a Valentine. Um, 
I just, you know, I'm just sending lots of love and hugs to you guys. But I'm just about to chill with my puppies. They're my Valentine today. And I'm just going to um, window shop on Amazon and look at wigs. I'm going to window shop on Sephora and Ulta and look at makeup. And I'm just going to chill. You know, it's a Wednesday. Tomorrow I have to go into the office and I just, I just don't look forward to it. I'm not going to lie to you. I try to be so positive about it, but it's just, I'm just, uh... At least, at least, thank you, Jesus, tomorrow is my Friday because I'm off on Friday. So tomorrow is just my last day of the week. And yeah. And when it's a Thursday and it's the last day of your week or when it's a Friday and it's the last day of your week, you just automatically wake up with a better mood because it's like, yes, I don't have to work the next day. Yes. Um, but yeah. I just wanted to hop on here and say hello beautiful people and I'm just sending lots of love and positive vibes to you and do something that makes you happy today do something that makes you happy this week so yeah um, eat something good today you deserve it it's Valentine's Day do something special for yourself I'm definitely going to um, I'm gonna indulge in some cookies and some uh, chocolate and I'm not gonna feel bad about it. Also, I didn't go to the gym today and it's cause it's Valentine's Day. It's totally fine. I just didn't feel like it. Um, I just did not feel like going to the gym today, TMI, but um, yeah, the time of the month came for me and I'm just not feeling it. Like my stomach is just on a thousand. I just do not feel like it. So that's totally fine. I'm just gonna take the day off today from the gym and tomorrow, I will be doing cardio. So, um, yeah. I'm actually really hungry now, so I need to figure out what I'm about to eat. But, um, yeah. Don't know what I'm about to eat, which is an issue. I know that my parents went out to get dinner, and I could have gone with them to get dinner, but I was like, nah, I want you guys to go on like a date night. But I did say, if they got some breadsticks or some good food wherever you go, just, just think about me and you can bring me some. You know, I would love some breadsticks or some food. But, um, oh my gosh, my stomach is rumbling right now. Yeah, I'm just about to figure out what I'm about to eat and I'm just gonna chill. I don't, I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow and I'm definitely gonna do like a little, I don't know if I'm gonna do like a full get ready with me, but I'm definitely going to take you guys with me. Um, when I go to Ulta and Sephora and I'm going to take you guys with me like online shopping on Amazon and stuff. Good morning. Today is Thursday. Um, today is my Friday because I have every other Friday off and tomorrow is a uh, payday Friday and your girl is off tomorrow. So today is technically my Friday. But um, I'm about to leave to go to work. I am tired i am ready for the day to be over already <sighs> i hope you guys are having a beautiful week i hope you guys have a great day today and i just wanted to check in and say good morning and um yeah i don't know if i'm gonna pick up the camera later or not it's really just gonna be a chill thursday um i may do like a face mask or something because you know i am on my period and i'm like breaking out um, so I may like do a face mask and if I do, I definitely will, um, hit you guys up. But, um, besides that, I just want to say hi. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit and I hope you beautiful people have a great day. Good morning, loves. So, um, today is Friday, my off day. So, um, today's going to be a pretty eventful day. Um, my mom and I are going to go to, I think we're going to go to Pentagon City Mall today. It's either Pentagon City Mall we're going to go to or Tyson's Corner we're going to go to. Um, we're just going to see what we see there. Um, my mom was looking for a dress for this event that she is going to. Well, I'm also going with her to that, so I will also have a video for that um, in April. But um, yeah, so today is going to be pretty eventful. I'm also going to um, go to Ulta and Sephora. Sephora, I did not know, was having a 50% off sale on certain items until I think February 19th. 
so I'm going to I have I already did my little window shopping on my oh my gosh every time I'm talking my camera dies but let me say this real quick so I already picked out the um, products that I want to buy from Sephora and Ulta well Ulta is more of like you know I have like one or two products that I know for sure I want to get and the rest is just like whatever I see I'm gonna get you know I'm gonna just treat myself um so also I'm going to I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a get ready with me video on here and this vlog or if I'm gonna do a separate vlog I know for sure I am gonna do a makeup haul but that's gonna be a separate video um just because I don't want this video to this vlog to be super super long with just like from just doing my makeup haul so I'm going to do a separate video for that. Um, yeah, I'm about to go and clean my face brushes as well as my beauty blenders. So I'm going to go and do that real quick. And yeah, I'm just going to take you guys on the day with me. It's going to be pretty, pretty chill, pretty nice. I love days like this where it's just like... You know, it's just a whole bunch of things to do today, especially, you know, since it's my off day. I just want to be filled with like fun things to do tonight. I am going out, so I don't know what type of makeup look I'm going to do, but that's exactly why I am cleaning my makeup brushes tomorrow. I'm possibly going out as well. Um, Sunday is going to be more of like a chill family day. Monday I'm off. It's President's Day. Not sure what I'm doing that day, but Monday will be the start of a new weekly vlog. So yeah, um, I just want to say good morning and I hope you guys are having a beautiful week and let's get on with the day. The new 4G's on the sheet I drop into the bloody bottoms It's underneath Cause all my niggas got it out the street I keep a hundred racks inside my jeans I remember hitting them all with the whole team Now niggas can't ask a call cause I'm all in I was waking up getting racks in the morning I was broke, now I'm rich, these niggas salty All this designer on my body got me drip drip and Straight up out the y'all jacks, I'm a big trip if I got up on a lean, I'ma sip, sip. I run the racks up with my queen, like London and Nip. But I got rich on all these niggas, I didn't forget back. I had to go through the struggle, I didn't forget that. I had to side of the Maybach and I hope to sit back. These bitches know me now, cause I got them big racks. Cause I'm getting money now, I know you heard that. Young nigga on the corner, bitch, I had to serve back. I'm confronting me some keys, had they getting birds back. We came up on dirty money, I gave it a bird back. Cut off the brain and I gave my bitch a new poop. Either you running y'all game. Got a new old and bitch him in that pussy voodoo Ain't I'm that nigga now ooh, ooh. I put the new 4 G's on the G I drop into the bloody bottoms is underneath Cause all my niggas got it out the streets I keep a hundred racks inside my jeans I remember hitting them all with the whole team Now a nigga paint us a call cause I'm all in I was waking up getting racks in the morning I was broke, now I'm rich, these niggas salty I've been waking up to get the money, whoa, whoa Got a bad bitch ass, tatted, whoa, whoa. Da Vinci to my toes, two twins, I'm fucking them both. I put in new AP, the water like a boat. I was down bad on my dick, what was you niggas at? I know you turned your back on me just to get some wrecks. I seen you swerve back, cause I'm in the black back. New diamonds on me, fuck a flash, this ain't Snapchat. Cause I been getting paid, yellow diamonds on me, look like lemonade. Got my baby mama that new Ben Tago. Tryna get a Jojo like a Sensei. Rose Royce umbrellas when I'm in the rain. Mind my business. I got brothers that did the time. I ain't kidding. All these rappers just talk about it. I live going up. I ain't got no sky I'm living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drive into yeah. the bloody bottoms is underneath. That's all my niggas got it out the street. I keep a hundred. I remember with so much drama in the LBC, it's kind of hard being a Snoop D O double G. But I somehow, some way, keep coming up with funky ass yeah, shit like every single every day. Y'all, I just got back from a long, long long day of just being out and about with traffic and everything do not recommend it's just traffic 95 traffic will just always suck the life out of you make you so tired and just over it but 
nonetheless, <sighs> I did go to Sephora and I went to Ulta and we did a little damage. A little bit of damage. Just a little damage. Ulta, a baby damage. But Sephora, more of a medium sized damage. Just a little bit. Okay, so um, let's start with Ulta because I only got two things from Ulta, which is why I said it was just like a baby damage. Just a little bit. So um, from Ulta, I needed to get some more lash glue. This is the lash glue that I currently use. It's so good. I absolutely love it. It is this one. I absolutely love this lash glue. Like, it literally keeps my lashes on for so long. Love it. The next product that I got from Elta is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I have always heard people talk about this primer. I mean, like, they say that it's so good. And I have the... Um, milk power I have the milk grip primer so I'm going to compare the two and see which one I like the most I mean honestly maybe it was the Ulta that I went to but I really didn't see too much and I was thinking about I was thinking about getting a um, some new blushes but hold on let me put y'all on so when it comes to blushes I really don't buy blushes like that anymore because y'all this right here, the crayon box, it has so, look at how big these pans are. It has so many different blushes in here that I literally, I literally don't need to buy any more blushes. So I honestly haven't bought any new blushes in such a long time because I just use these blushes right here and it's just amazing. Like it literally has every blush shade you can think of and honestly you can use some of these shades as contour and bronzer and you can even use these as like eyeshadows so that's really I was gonna get the Juvia's Place blush but then when I looked at the blush I was like do I have these shades at home and I'm gonna be honest with you when it comes to even eyeshadow palettes for me, I really, what makes me want to get an eyeshadow palette is the uniqueness of it. If I don't have, like, I feel like a lot of times eyeshadow palettes, it's only like, like, it can be like a 10 pan palette, but only like two or three shades. It's like, oh my gosh, I need this. I want this because I don't have these shades at home. But if I have all the shades at home, it's like, I'm not going to get it because I just feel like. I have so much I have so much makeup I don't need to be adding to it and having multiple of the same shades so that's really why I didn't get the Juvia's Place um, duo blush and I was gonna get the, the one that was baby pink but I was like no because y'all I literally have a pink shade right here I was thinking about getting the one that had orange but this is an orange shade right here and so um no and then I was going to get baby pink right here. It's another pink shade. And that's a red shade right there. Um, I skipped one. And there's another pink shade. So it's like, why would I get it? Because I have all the shades here. Um, this literally lasts me so long. I mean, so long. It's crazy. I don't hear enough people talking about this um, actually either. All right. Now to Sephora. When I saw y'all, I love makeup. Like, I love makeup. And I was debating making this, like, a whole separate video. But, um, honestly, I just think I'm just going to include it in the vlog. I mean, I could make it a separate video, but, um, I don't know. I don't know if I feel like doing my makeup right now and then, like, sitting in front of the camera and just doing all that. So, I think I'm going to just include this little haul in this vlog. Um, okay. I got, I've always wanted to try Huda Beauty's makeup line. So I literally got like full face of Huda Beauty basically. I got the shade Cinnamon 440G in the Fox Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. I, yep. and I got it in. this shade. I've heard so many good things about this product that I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to try it. 
I got the travel size Huda Beauty loose baking and setting powder in the shade banana bread. The only reason why I got the travel size is because in the regular size they were sold out and I was like huh I really want to try it and then the lady that was helping me she was just so amazing she was so sweet and her makeup was absolutely flawless and I loved her earrings. But um, she was like, let me see if I have one in like the travel size. And luckily she had one. And so I was like, bet. So I'm going to try this. And I thought this was also great to try it in the travel size to see if I like it. And if I like it, whenever they're in stock, I'm just going to get the full size. I got the NARS Soft Matte Pot Concealer. So I have the, um, I have the mini because I wanted to try it out. I feel like when it comes to Sephora... Sephora has high-end, more expensive makeup. So instead of buying the full size of anything when you want to try it out, get the travel size or get like the mini size and try that out. For one, it's cheaper and for two, it's like if you don't like it, then you didn't spend double the amount on the regular size. So I, um, that's also why I think it's a good thing that I got the mini of the, um, loose powder. But I got the NARS Soft Matte Concealer and this is in like the pot, um, you know the little pot um this is in the shade praline but i got this in the shade medium three praline so um hopefully i like it i love me a nice bright under eye so i'm i'm thinking i will like it though and another one so i've already had this and i've already done a testing this out i i did a previous video like um a while ago on my channel and you can like scroll down and look through my videos and I know that I did a um, testing this out which is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Skin Tint. The reason why I got another one of this is because I needed it in a shade darker. So I had shade 16 but I needed it in shade 17. So um yeah I just wanted to get my correct shade. And last but not least I got the Huda Beauty um uh, I got the Huda Beauty Luminous Matte Liquid Concealer, and this is in the shade Toasted Almond 5.3G. So, yeah, that's really it. Like I said, I told you it was like a little, it was a little bit of damage that I did. Um, one thing about Sephora is that you can have literally like six items and paying over $100, and it's like, oh my god. That's why, let me tell you something. When people say, oh, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want for your birthday? What do you want? Get me either money or get me an Ulta or Sephora gift card. A $50 minimum, please. Thank you. Because it costs a lot of money when you go to Sephora, especially. Like, it just it just does. But um, I also went to Forever 21. And they were having a 50% off of all, like, the entire store was 50% off. So I got these cute necklaces. I think these are so cute. I wanted some more like necklaces and I thought this was a cute layered necklace. I also got this one and this one has a rose on it. I thought that was like so freaking cute. So I thought it was cute. A little rose on me. That was really cute. This one, my name is Raquel. So of course I had to get in our necklace like I thought these are cute let me tell you something when it comes to jewelry I'm not spending a whole bunch of money on jewelry a lot of times the jewelry that I get especially like the necklaces and the earrings and the rings I get it from Kohl's Kohl's has really good quality jewelry that's where I get all of my jewelry from which is Kohl's and I am a cancer so of course I had to get a cancer necklace because um yeah. So really that's my little haul. Um yeah. I honestly had a good day today. My mom and I just like hung out and spent the day together and it was a girl it was a good girls' day. Uh, I really wanted to do my makeup and play with the new makeup that I got, but I don't know if I'm going out anymore because the weather may not be that good tonight. Um it's supposed to be like between raining and snowing tonight so i'm not sure if i'm gonna go out which sucks because i really want to play with my makeup but anyways nonetheless i'm just gonna have a chill relaxing friday night if i don't go out and i just love those type of nights where it's just like 
chill, relaxing, just being lazy, watching movies, playing with my puppies, and not having to do anything. Like, the best time is when you just literally can just be lazy and not do anything and watch movies so that's what i'm honestly thinking about doing i'm gonna get some food i don't know what i'm having for dinner tonight but nonetheless tomorrow i'm definitely gonna do a full face of trying the new products that i got um don't know if i'm going to just do oh i think what i'm gonna do is i don't know maybe i'll do like a testing out you know the new makeup products video i'm debating or if i'm gonna just do an updated get ready with me in this video i may just do like a get ready with me in this video and yeah i don't know we'll see i'm still trying to debate what i'm gonna do but um nonetheless i'm so happy that I got these products I love makeup like makeup makes me so freaking happy and jewelry makes me happy so I'm glad I got these <laughs> they were like $4.99 $7.99 $9.99 off of that so it was $15 for all of them and I'm really happy about it so <laughs> yeah I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul I was going to try like new skincare but I don't know I'm still I just feel like sometimes when it comes to my face, my face is so sensitive, so. But yeah, um, I'm going to figure out what I'm about to eat. Don't know. So, yeah. Good morning, loves. Today is Saturday, and I'm going, my mom and I are going to see if we can find a dress for her. Um, we didn't see any dresses that she liked. Um, at Pentagon City yesterday so we're gonna go to Potomac Mills today and see what we can find so um, yesterday I went to Ulta and I just didn't the Ulta that I went to I just didn't see anything that I liked and so I'm like hmm maybe if I go to a different Ulta maybe I'll like see something else I feel like the Ulta in my area is just it's nice but it's okay but I'm gonna go to another Ulta and see if I see anything um because yeah like I haven't bought myself anything from Ulta in a long time and so yesterday when I finally did I was like oh my gosh like it just feels so amazing to like splurge on makeup again Ugh. but um yeah so today hopefully I will find something um hopefully because if I find something and I find like a good amount of products then I probably will do like a separate like more in-depth like haul um and then I'm definitely going to do a testing new makeup video I'm definitely going to do that um I, if I do like if I do a makeup video like a specific makeup video it's going to be uploaded on a Wednesday if I do any type of vlogs whether it's a vlog weekly vlog weekend vlog day in the life any type of thing like that that's going to be uploaded on Sundays so for sure every Sunday a vlog will be uploaded but um I'm going to try to incorporate videos to upload on Wednesdays which will be like my makeup focus type of videos I know a lot of people like my makeup videos that's the whole reason that a lot of you guys found my um, channel so um, yeah I wanted to do the vlogs because I feel like they're more personable you guys can really get to know me and just see a different side of me that's not just makeup so um, yeah if there's any type of videos that you guys want to see please let me know comment down below please 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 let me know because i'm going to upload content that you guys want to see so yeah i just wanted to say good morning and it's actually nice outside it's sunny outside and i'm just like yes but it is very windy outside today um it's very windy so yeah i honestly i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie to you guys this is just like a random thought i do not see myself living in virginia all my life I don't I want to move outside of Virginia somewhere preferably where it doesn't snow preferably where it doesn't get too too cold um, I don't know where that will be but I definitely in like five years I see myself moving outside of Virginia I want to move to Texas that's somewhere I want to move to is Texas um, I'm going to Texas this year so 
yeah I'm excited about that um, yeah but I just wanted to say hello good morning and let's get on with our day today feelings because you're so perfect and you're honest promise see you've been working i acknowledge you gonna make me pull up on your father in the coop yeah yeah make a move if it's cool marry you yeah yeah god i want to thank you thank you for sending an angel in between girl i got you yeah yeah lay your head right here hear my heart go bottle boot up beat it out boot up said i put that on my mama true love since i found you it just won't stop it goes bottle boot up if it's about you i pull up make my heart go bottle boot up since i found you it just won't stop it goes You know what to do, 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 do That's why I make it all about you when you come through Turn off my phone, no distractions when I'm with you You gon' get that text in the morning Shawty, you gon' get that sex when you want it you come through won't let them bitches come in between girl i got you yeah yeah lay your head right here hear my heart go a bottle beat it out put up said i put that on my mama true love true love since i found you it just won't stop it goes bottle put up put up if it's about you i pull up i put my heart up now bottle put up since i found you plan on going to the mall and like splurging today honestly I told you my mom and I went to the mall to see if we could find her address but um I don't know if you can hear but it is very windy outside but um I ended up finding a lot of stuff today unexpectedly and I never really shopped for myself so like just 
you know, splurging on myself this weekend honestly just felt so nice to just do something for myself. Um, I went to the Forever 21 that's in Potomac Mills. I feel like the Potomac Mills Forever 21, like their jewelry section was like, I don't know. I just saw a lot more than at the one that was at Pentagon City Mall. But they're both really nice though, so. Um, Y'all, all this <laughs> is jewelry. H how many items is this? I purchased 21 items for $80. 21 items for $80, okay? Y'all, I would literally do a whole like jewelry haul. Should I? I'll just go through a few. So I got this. Oops. I got this necklace. It's like all, yeah, but it is like so cute. Get that out of the way. It's just so cute. I love like I've been really like obsessing with layered necklaces, and I just thought that was just gonna be like too cute to wear. So I thought that was cute. I also got earrings. So, um, y'all know I love cross necklaces. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, I got to get them. So when I saw these, I had to get them because like, why are they so cute? I also got... I also got these like hoop earrings. They're just really plain hoop earrings. They're light, they're cute. I got these light and cute. I love gold jewelry. So all the jewelry I got is gold. <laughs> I got these earrings. I think these are like so cute. And they have like, you see on the side? It's cute. And I got these earrings. And I also, like, I, I wanted to get jewelry that I could wear to work. Because I honestly felt like my jewelry, I just needed to kind of, like, get a lot more of necklaces and earrings and stuff. Because, like I said, normally I get my earrings and necklaces from Kohl's. But when I saw the 50% off, that's all they need to say. That's all they need to say. I just got a plain necklace. I thought this was like, you know, cute. I'm gonna try to do this like really fast because, um, and they're having this sale up until, they're 50% off at Forever 21 up until Monday, President's Day. President's Day, I think is the last day that they're doing the sale. I got another one and this one is like a lot thicker. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to get any more um, jewelry for a while. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are my absolute favorite ones because y'all, y'all see these. These are so freaking cute. So cute. I had to get them. They're earrings. So cute. My back is killing me right now for some reason. Um, another layered one. I just thought that this was like really cute. So I just wanted to get a layered one. Ooh. Yeah. I don't buy jewelry often, so I was like, you know what? Why not? And there's nothing wrong with like treating yourself every once in a while, you know? all tangled up I got this it's like layered yep so you don't really I didn't realize how many I got until like when I went to the register and I was like separating them and I was like oh my gosh I got so many 
I got this single one, but look, y'all. It is so cute. Got this little cute. Got the little cute single one. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Um, I got this single one as well. I thought this was cute. Yep. I love, I've gotten into like layering um, necklaces. So like I just, all the ones that were layered, I was like, oh, I have to have them because they're, it's just like you, I feel like when, especially when it comes to going out of town and shopping, if you see something that you like and you're out of town, get it. Because nine times out of 10, when you go back to your home state, they may not have what you saw. And that's why it's like, also when there's a sale, like 50% off and stuff like that, take advantage of those sales. And that's what I'm doing. I got like a rope one, a plain rope one. I'm going out tonight and um, honestly, I don't know which one I'm gonna wear. I'm definitely wearing one of the rope, one of the rope necklaces, I think probably. I got this one, I like this one. This one's more of a thicker uh, necklace. I'm almost done, y'all. <laughs> I got this one that's layered. Oh my goodness, I have so many. Oh my gosh. I got, oh. And when it comes to jewelry, I am that girl, I... I don't mind spending $10, $5 on jewelry. <laughs> like, I really, I mean, I don't go to, like, expensive stores to buy jewelry. I really don't care about that. I just want jewelry that looks good. I am that girl that will go to the beauty supply store and get jewelry. And I will rock that jewelry until it turns. And then I got to go back to the beauty supply store and get some more jewelry. <laughs> um, I got another one. But this one has, like, um, I don't know if you can see it. It's, like little diamonds I don't know you just you can't really see it I don't know if it's focusing or not but yeah I got this short like choker type of necklace it's super I said short <laughs> super small um, choker type of necklace I thought that was cute um, let's see and the lady that was ringing me up, she was like so, so sweet. She was like, girl, if you had gotten this and we weren't having to sell, this would have been a minimum of like $180. I said, that's exactly why I'm getting it today. <laughs> oh, she was so sweet. Kind of tangled. But I got one that's like this. And you know, when I saw the um, cross, I had to get it because you know I love cross necklaces. I had to get that. This one also I got, and you see the heart, I mean the cross, I said the heart, you see the cross, like I had to get it because um, any jewelry that I see with a cross on it, I just, I automatically want. <laughs> I think this was the first one that I actually picked up and then I saw the rest and I was like, oh my God, I gotta get them. And then the last one, I just thought this was so cute. It's a cherry, I love cherries. Cherries are so good. Yeah, thought it was cute. And it's just a single one. So that is my little jewelry haul from Forever 21. If y'all could just like see how much jewelry I have on my bed, it's crazy. Okay, so now Bath and Body Works. I only got two things of perfume. That's it. Um, I got the... Thailand Sweets Kiwi and Starfruit Perfume, this mini one. I love these mini ones because they're like so perfect for when you're just on the go and you're traveling or if you're, um, you know, for me when I'm going to work, I don't be wanting to bring the big size bottle perfumes. So, you know, these ones are just like absolutely perfect and they smell so good. Um, I also got the Costa Rica Pink Pineapple Sunrise and this one just smelled so good. 
Oh my gosh, it smells so good. As soon as I smelled this one, I just had to spray it on me inside the store. And I was like, I need it, okay? Now, on to Ulta. Yeah. Yeah, you know. So, the, this one, I honestly did not plan on getting this one, but I do have, like, combination skin. So, combination skin is when it's just your T-zone area that is, um... Your forehead and your nose area is oily, but everything else is not really oily. That's how it is for me. Um, my T-zone area is primarily oily, and then the rest is like, you know, normal. It's not gonna, I'm not gonna say my skin is dry, but it's more of like normal. Like the winter time, I feel like my skin is more drier than like summertime. I got the La Roche Pose um, Purifying Foaming Cleanser, and this one is for normal to oily skin. This one is the one that I got and I'm interested to try this out because I normally stick with like if something works for me I normally just stick with it and I don't um, change it up especially when it comes to skincare like when it comes to skincare I do not try a whole bunch of different products I truly don't I just whatever works for me works for me so um, I'm gonna try this out and I'm hoping that this works for me and we're gonna see I will definitely update you guys um, yeah y'all i saw a matte black lipstick this is the maybelline superstay matte ink and this is in the shade 285 thrill seeker y'all when i say that this is matte this is black lipstick like i am so freaking excited to try this because i've always wanted to find another black lipstick but it was just like so hard for me to find another black lipstick because not a lot of um makeup brands you know make black lipsticks so when i saw this one i just i had to get it i absolutely had to um i also got the kiss so wispy and this is in the style pompadour I got these ones because these are um, good for like if I'm doing makeup on other people and they don't like super dramatic lashes. This is more of a, you know, natural style, um, you know, more of a natural style lash. It's And it's not heavy on the eyes or anything. If I'm having a no makeup day, these are the lashes that I would go for. More of a subtle, not too wispy type of lash. I also wanted to get a um a concealer brush i do have a concealer brush but i wanted one that was a, like a little bit smaller so i got the elf blending brush and this is in this is the blending estompier brush looks like this y'all i wanted to buy a new eyeshadow palette i haven't bought it bought a new eyeshadow palette in so long and i was like oh my gosh i want to buy a new one so i went to ulta and i found the juvia's place the coffee shop um eyeshadow palettes and let me show you guys this is the front and these are the shades definitely coffee type of vibes so beautiful i am definitely going to use this palette if i go out i cannot wait to do this actually you know what i'm going to do a um i'm going to do a testing new makeup type of video and you guys will get to see all of these makeup products come into play and I'm excited about testing all these out. So y'all know my absolute favorite, you know, um, I would say this is more of a moisturizer that I put on my face, is the CeraVe Healing Ointment. This right here, I just saw a small traveling size and I thought this was perfect. This right here is my absolute favorite. It's especially for the winter so whenever i finish you know doing my cleanser on my face and washing my face i always go and put this on and it leaves my face feeling 
so smooth and just hydrated like it just feels amazing I love this like I absolutely love this I don't know I, they didn't have like the bigger size in the checkouts you know when you're in the Ulta line and they have like the minis or they have the little small like items um near the cashier I was just looking and I saw this and I just picked it up so I got the elf lock on liner and brow cream and this is in the shade espresso honestly um I just I saw this and I just know that this is the this is one of my go-to brow creams and I just got it just because you know you can never have too many <laughs> I just I just picked it up as like a backup and last but not least I got the essence lash princess mascara and I got the green one let me tell y'all something when it comes to mascara and eyeliner go and get you some essence because that's the brand when it comes to mascara i always go to them for mascara because it's just such good you know quality mascara for 4.99 4.99 so good okay so good i feel like when it comes to face products those are really the products that you need to invest your money in okay um when it comes to mascara eyeliner eyeshadow you know you can go to the drugstore lower end you know for lower end priced for those things but like when it comes to foundation concealer primer um even setting powder and even setting spray invest in your makeup i'm like that's the one thing i always say when people say oh i you know can you tell me what good products to get for you know foundation and stuff like that look i love you know maybelline i love l'oreal i love um all the drugstore foundations they're really good like really good quality however if you want your makeup to last and stay for a long time, like if you're going to put your makeup on in the morning and you need to last till the, um, till the end of the day, you know, that night, invest in good quality makeup, okay? I'm going to do a whole video separately talking about my favorite foundations, concealers, and all that stuff, like my go-to. I'm actually going to do a video, um, you know, do, showing you guys my updated um flawless base routine um i wanted to say that i'm gonna try to start uploading makeup specific videos every wednesday and then my vlogs will be uploaded every sunday so um you guys can still get the best of both worlds you know you can get an inside of my life on sundays and then on wednesdays you can get you know um you can still get the makeup videos um so yeah I am so excited that I got these products. Like, I absolutely feel like a kid. <laughs> I feel like a little kid right now. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, that's why I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait until, like, I have a daughter. And I just really hope my daughter's into makeup because I just really want to be like, girl, let's go to Sephora. Let's go to Ulta and let's go and, like, spin a bag. Let's go and go makeup shopping. Like, I just, I just can't wait for that. Um, yeah, so... You will see on Wednesday, I will be doing a separate video. I think I'm just going to be doing um, the Sephora and Ulta haul on Wednesday. Um, just a separate video because I feel like, you know, these clips are in, in, the, vol in the vlog somewhere. And I feel like if somebody, if people just want to go and look specifically at the Sephora and Ulta haul, they just have a video right there. So, um... I'm definitely going to film a Sephora and Ulta haul talking about these products more in depth um on and you will see that video on Wednesday but this video will be uploaded tomorrow actually on Sunday um and then yeah yeah so it is 2 50 honestly I'm just gonna chill I kind of want to take a nap I'm not gonna be doing too too much yeah i'm about to take a nap and chill for a little bit and edit actually that's what i'm about to do so um all of the jewelry that i just talked about like all of my gold jewelry i well not even all of my gold jewelry because i have some silver in there like on this side but i don't wear silver often but i just but i just put all of the jewelry in here together 
just so um, they're not all tangled and stuff and yeah I think that looks a lot more organized and unchaotic but yeah I just wanted to show y'all this I didn't put any of my um, earrings on that side just because I have so many earrings it's just not gonna all fit so um, yeah I'm just gonna use this for my jewelry for my necklaces what's up y'all so um i just wanted y'all to see my makeup i wanted to do something that was smoky um i'm about to go to richmond and hang out with my homegirl i'm not entirely sure um what bar or lounge or wherever we're going but um all i know is that tonight is about to be lit um yeah i have on i'm so glad when i saw y'all i'm so glad that i got that jewelry i'm so freaking happy because i finally have like don't judge the way i just, just straighten my hair i just be like all over the place but um i'm just so happy that i got the jewelry because it just gives me like different options of what to wear y'all i need me like a good brown wig like if i had a brown wig oh my gosh i would wear like a brown wig tonight i promise you i would if i did but tonight we're going out um this is the jewelry that i am wearing tonight it's one of the layered ones and yeah i just have on like these hoop earrings um i did not buy these hoop earrings today i i have had these for a while i'm actually like so glad that i shaved my armpits last night because i totally didn't even think about the fact of this being showing my arms okay um yeah i'm just wearing like a black jumpsuit <sighs> i just wanted to check in with you guys and say what's good definitely gonna have to get a red bull tonight okay um yeah i'm wearing some boots with this i told y'all i'm trying to get out of wearing all black but that's just i don't know what's going on so i didn't get to do like an updated like makeup routine um because i was rushing you know how it is every time you're getting ready you think like you time it out to like the perfect timing but no i was rushing um i couldn't film and talk to you guys while i was getting ready for one like my brows was just not on my side today and it was just like pissing me off i was like yo why is my brows doing this to me today this is just not the day but nonetheless we figured it out um I gotta leave literally like in three minutes so i just wanted to say hello what's up we're going on tonight we're gonna have a good night tonight okay um i'm going to take as many videos as i can on my phone i'm not gonna bring my camera with me um but i am gonna film on my phone if anything um do you guys like my makeup this was honestly just like a winged moment. I wanted to do something that was like grungy and smoky. So yeah, this is what I came up with. Um, yeah, the best part about getting, the best part about going out is the process of getting ready. I just love getting ready. I love having my music playing. I love just doing my makeup. Like it just, I love it. So um, yeah, if you guys want a tutorial on this, please let me know before I forget how I created this makeup look. So, like, let me know ASAP because if you take too long to let me know, then I'm going to maybe forget what I ended up doing on my face. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, um, I'm about to go and have a good night tonight. And, hmm, fragrance. I'm definitely going to put the, I'm definitely going to use some type of oil, um on me as a fragrance and then top it off with some perfume don't know which perfume but um i kind of want to smell strawberry tonight so sweet so yeah but um i gotta go i will see you guys in a little bit and like let you guys know how the night went so yeah Mwah. <sighs> 
good morning y'all it is the next day um last night was just like so much freaking fun um i went out with my home girl we went to um okay for one we was gonna go to this spot in richmond called mona lounge and bar and when i tell you the girls was cutting up and the dj was not playing in that bar like i truly mean that it's like a lounge it's a bar and a lounge but like we did not end up going in there because y'all we got there at like 12 and why were we waiting outside for like 20 minutes in line outside at 12 p.m for 20 minutes in line and we were like third people in line and like they was just taking forever to let people in and y'all it's like 31 degrees outside so um we decided that we were just gonna go downtown richmond and we ended up going to this spot called stadium um we were gonna go to the spot called ace but then we ended up going to stadium in downtown richmond and it truly was lit like it was lit i would definitely say if we had gone into mona i would have had a lot more content to film because that dj was not playing granted i mean the dj that was at stadium was also really good but like he was playing more of like trap music at um, stadium, but at Mona, they were playing like all kinds of like music and stuff like that. I'm about to go to church, by the way, um, but I realized that like the older I got, it's like, I truly love going to lounges that, you know, the DJs play like that grown and sexy music, you know, like I love going to, um, places where it's like the 30 and ups like i don't mind being around the younger crowd because you know granted i'm 25 but um oh my gosh y'all look at these earrings they're so freaking cute when i say y'all need to run to um y'all need to run to forever 21 and get you some jewelry before the sale is over y'all truly do because i paid 25 dollars for um i'm not 25 dollars. oh my god i paid a total of a hundred dollars basically for um 25 items at sephora not sephora oh my god i paid a total of like a hundred dollars for um 25 items of jewelry and like when i say like okay these earrings i got from forever 21 and this whole um stack of necklaces i got from forever 21 like <laughs> i'm telling y'all oh my gosh but anyways i just realized the older that i got like i truly love going to um lounges and bars that are like the older crowd um it's just more of my type of vibe. I don't mind, like, I love going to a good, like, ratchet scene. You know, I don't mind that, and I actually love that. But, um, I don't know, it's just like the older you get, you you find out what is your type of crowd. And I love, I just love the older vibes. Um, yeah, it was a good time last night. Um, I'm so excited because my homegirl is moving to my area. So, we're definitely going to take a whole bunch of videos. And, like, you know, we're going to be making moves this year making moves this summer um i'm so excited so yeah i'm about to go to church i absolutely love my earrings like i just can't and these earrings are not heavy at all like they're truly not heavy and that makes me feel like dang i should have got the other earrings that i was thinking about getting but the only reason why i didn't get the other earrings is because it felt so heavy in the pack like in the pack it just felt heavy and i just i can't do the heavy earrings but I low-key wish that I got them because it was like a circle with like a rose at the bottom. It was really cute, but nonetheless, I'm not spending no more money on jewelry. I've gotten all the jewelry that I need for it right now. Like, these are so freaking cute. Oh my god. But, um, yeah, I'm about to get the word in. I'm about to go to church and I'm just going to praise God and enjoy the word. Um... Yeah, it's 9.37. Church starts at 10 o'clock. I live five minutes away from my church. So, yeah, I'm just so excited to um, go 
go to church and just listen to the word. Today is Sunday, so this is going to be the end of the vlog. I may add some clips here and there of my day today. I know that my mom and I are going to Target. Yeah, I may include a clip or two of us in Target. Not sure. But if I don't, then thank you guys so much for tuning into this vlog. I will be uploading a full Ulta and Sephora haul on Wednesday. And like I said, the only reason why I'm doing a like separate video, although I did do a little haul in this one, is because the hauls that I did in this in this video was like kind of broken up because I went to Ulta one day and then um, Ulta and Sephora another day. And also it's like... If someone is coming to my channel to look at a specific haul, I don't want them to feel like, oh, I gotta go through the entire video to um, find the haul. So yeah, I'm gonna do a whole separate video, so stay tuned for that. And then I'm going to do a first impressions video that's going to be uploaded the following Wednesday. And I will be doing, I'm not sure if it's gonna be a, just like a vlog within including like, you know, certain clips of the week. If it's gonna be a weekly vlog or a weekend vlog, I'm totally unsure. I may do like a, I just think I'm going to just do the weekly vlogs because I feel like just different things happen throughout the week. So, um, yeah, vlog coming next Sunday. Oh, video is coming. A video is going to be uploaded today. There's going to be a um, video on Wednesday. So every Wednesday and Sunday, stay tuned. I love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for tuning in in this video and like I said if I include a clip at the end you'll see that if not just thank you guys so much for supporting me and just you know I know it's been a long time since I've been on my channel and so for you guys to just like you know come and just look at my videos and catch up with me on life it means so 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 much to me. I love you guys so much and again thank you so much for tuning in to my video supporting me and loving me because I support you and I love you. I hope you guys have a great day, a great Sunday, a great relaxing Sunday, and, you know, a great start of your week. Bye.